Well, welcome back, folks. I'm just doing a little bit of final prep here uh, before we head out to the, the north and look for scavenge and stuff like that. Um, I have basically all the weapons and stuff I need. I'm just going to eat real quick. Basically stuff myself full. There we go, we're stuffed. And then we need to check our water condition, which is low. Anyway, let's talk about the guns while we're doing this. So the guns I've chosen to take are this SKS, which fires 762. And then I also have the uh, 19, or not the 1911, that was the reason before. I have the M9 with all of its eight magazines, which is insane. Um, and that's all that I have currently. So just those two guns. And we have so much ammo for both of them, uh, especially the 9mm, but the 9mm is going to be a little bit weaker than the 40, uh, than the 45 that was the uh, M911, or 1911, sorry. So unfortunately, we might not have as much stopping power with that. But with the 762, I think we should be fairly good. Uh, I went ahead and repaired our baseball bat a little bit with some duct tape and kind of went from there. And then in the truck here, I have some chips for us. So just a little bit extra food. Uh, Wait. I'm sorry, those chips are on the ground. That's my bad. Thought I had to uh, put them in. That would have been really bad. I mean, I would have saw them when we started driving away. But anyway. Plan for today. We're going to drive up here. Um, we're at least going to check this medical place here, and we're going to check this, uh, well, not we're going to check it, we know it's there. We're going to grab the rest of the MRE stuff out of there, uh, and load that stuff up. And then we're going to try to continue north and see what else we can find. Uh, that's going to be our, our goal, our little plan here. So let's go ahead and... Where's the road? Like... Oh, right, I needed to head north. Uh, what if I follow this, though? Like, it's it's kind of a road, right? Like, will it lead me somewhere else? Or am I just uh, going off into nothingness? There's something here, right? Maybe not. I mean, regardless, there's another road this direction anyway that we can use to turn up, so we might as well travel down this for a little ways. Is this supposed to be like a field, or like the, the sections between a field or something? Is that what these are? That's like a footpath. Zombies out there. Alright, here's that road. Let's open up our map real quick. We are there, alright. Head on up. Oh. All right. But we want to be careful about hitting zombies since our truck does have a uh, yellow engine status there. But I think that's mostly because I went ahead and rammed a hole a couple of times with this thing. Which was unfortunate. But uh, worst comes to worst, if we do lose this truck. There are two more trucks down um, in the southern city. And then we can use those as our semi-trucks. So, uh, yeah, and then we can just hotwire a car up here and get it down there. Maybe we'll even find a Humvee up here or something. I don't know. Check the, uh, sorry. Check the map real quick. All right, basically we're just gonna take this road straight until we reach the city and we'll start seeing like houses and stuff around, so. Should be pretty simple. We're gonna have to watch out for excessive zombie hordes and vehicles that are in the road. I'm not gonna be trying to turn too much unless there's a huge horde of zombies. We 
are killing them. Oh, the ages are flashing. I mean, we're taking a little bit too much damage here, but... Screw it. What's the purpose of having this truck if I can't do this? Huh? Luckily, I think all those, like, squishing noises are me actually killing zombies, not just running them over. So, sort of doing some work here. Also, it seems we're doing, like, really well in terms of, uh... Is this a city? In terms of going straight and stuff. Alright, let's open up the map real quick so I can see where the... All right, so not this one, but not the next one, not the next one. Right before the intersection, basically, is where the uh, medical supply area is at. Let's get around that flip car. Right there, huh? Okay. And the police station is right across from us, too. Ooh. All right, let's turn the truck off here. We'll go on foot. And I'm going to try and be stealthy about this. Well, as stealthy as we can be, all things considered. We're good on that side. This side's going to be the problem child. In terms of zombies. We do have a fence we can use, so it's not too bad for us. Go back. Get the guy up north first. We are making just great, like, plays here. Almost the first hit's always knocking them down, except for that time. When I, when I call it out, it stops working. Isn't that how it goes? Check our back real quick. Pretty good. I do remember we killed and lured away a bunch of zombies from this area previously. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke one cigarette because we're we just hit the point where it's gonna be detrimental to us here. So if we pull these zombies up here, we won't hopefully at least won't lure more in. Nope. That was close. I don't, did we search this police shop when we were up here before? Or did we have to like speed out because we didn't have the time to do so? There are a couple of guys up there. They're not coming towards me. I'll tell you what, let's go into the back of the uh, place here if we can just open it up. Through. Okay, bud. Oof. That was close. She almost had me. Got it quicker than that, though. More cigarettes. Nice. I'll take that. And some matches there, too. Where were they at? Found the zombie? Yeah. All right. Start by looking at the furthest back first. Was the door after us? It looks like it was a, a, a housing clinic, like a, somewhere around the clinic out of their house. I should grab what food I can here. We are like always going to be overweight at the moment, just because of the sheer amount of ammunition and stuff we're holding. But if I were to. Uh, you know, put that stuff away. I might not have it when I need it. I'll just hold on to that stuff. Screw it. Trying to level up our electrical skill a little bit further. All right, that's good. Metal working five. Don't really need that. I'm not going to try and collect books this far away from home. I will go ahead and place these uh, gun cases down and we can take what's there. Along with this uh, ammunition. Disassemble these earbuds. Take that rifle. And the other side. 
Okay. What do we have in here? Oh, another SKS and more ammunition. Perfect. Um, I think my SKS is actually better, though, looking at the... Uh... Why is this one, like, got a wooden stock? Oh, because we have a fiberglass stock and stuff there. Good. Can I get that, too? Looks like I can. We have an M50 or M500 shotgun. We'll take it if I can fit it. Alright. Before we loot the rest of this clinic, let's take what we have back to the semi. Because I really don't want to uh, be this overweight. Wait, what? Did I just cut myself from jumping a fence? That's just messed up, man. I cannot believe that happened. I think I'll go ahead and store my SKS into my backpack until we actually need it. If we get into a pinch, we can use our pistol. Also, I can store this gas can in here. I don't need it right now. That was also weighing me down. All right. Let's hopefully not cut ourselves on the freaking fence again. I will right, we'll have another smoke. And we'll continue on through here. Let's check this room next. Supply closet. All right, what do we got? Nice. I'll take all those. Expectant mass. Nice. Let's grab that. Filing cabinet with nothing we need. All right. Bathroom. Might as well drink and get our water filled. And the last room has to be like a patient area, right? Doctor degree certificate. First aid volume two, which I think we already have. Yes. Oh, they have more drugs here. Here we go. Perfect. All right. We didn't get too many drugs here, but I will just mark down on the map that there is a... Uh, well, there's a cross, right? Let's use that one instead. There we go. All right. And then we also have a police station right across here, so we'll use that to mark that. Excellent. All right. Let's head on back. Climb through. All right. Go ahead and store the drugs and stuff we do not need. This is just going to slow me down. It's a shame that this uh, part of the truck does not hold very many supplies. Let's see. Go ahead and pop a pill out. And then eat a thing of chips. By the way, how's our uh, weight looking? Oh yeah, we're getting up there. We're going to have to start being careful about what we eat and how much we eat, but... Could be fine. Mm. We're tired. It's gonna make us lose 50% of our damage there. Farming and rule supply. That could be helpful for us since we're farming. But first, let's check out the cop shop. I feel like I've been in here before, but it was like a different angle. Try right, one more time. Nope, okay. Let's try this one. Perfect. Climb on through. Hey, no one's in the main area. Take these matches.
incidentally, I, uh, speaking of police stations and stuff, I recently, recently started watching The Rookie, that, uh, old show about the, like, middle-aged guy who just, uh, decides to become a cop at, like, 50-something years old. It's pretty neat. Ooh, a bipod. Like that. Ooh, finally we got an MP5. I also have some more ammunition. More shotgun shells are always welcome. We also have a new police bulletproof vest. I'm going to wear this one. I think it's better than my uh, old one's condition here. Always good to wear the, the next best condition, right? All right, not much, but it is just a little rural police station, so couldn't really hope for too much, you know. All right. Let's go ahead and load what we have in here. Nope, okay, we're basically filled here. All right, let's get into the truck. We're gonna use uh, the rear seats for our remaining ammunition. More 308, perfect, we can use the FAL again. That's what the, uh, that's what it used, right? Oh, is that another M9 magazine? Well, 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 you spoil me, sir. Um, let's go ahead and insert bullets into that. Excellent. All right. What is our current position on the map right here? If we just go back that way, we can go to that. However, like I said, it is getting a little late. Let's head in here. And we'll sleep today. Back here. Back through here. I'm just going to open and close this door. Go. Come back through here to the bed. And uh, before we actually sleep, let's go ahead and uh, do some exercises. Squatting. Nice. All right. Just to uh, pass the time a little bit more. Place that bandage. All right. You know what? We have a little bit of time here. Why don't we go ahead and unload and reload our magazines just to level up our reload skill a bit more? Which, uh, in a little, but not a whole lot. Oof. So unfortunate. Alright, rather than eating a whole bag of chips, let's try eating a fork and see if that uh, sates our hunger or not. Honestly, we could just be waiting until we actually need to eat when it, like, affects our stats before we eat, but I don't know. Can I sleep again? I can. Let's do it. I mean, why not? I like how we basically just like unloaded all of our uh, magazines, reloaded it, and then went back to sleep. Alright. Now that it should be light outside. Let's head back out. I'm going to close this door just so zombies don't randomly decide to walk in there. Alright. I'm going to leave the truck here, and we're going to go hopping over and grab the uh, MREs and other stuff that were in the airdrop over that way. We can also take a look around and see if there's anything else uh, interesting in the area. Which was a little bit brighter out, but I imagine it's because we're just having like a heavy rain. Rain intensity is still too low, huh? So we have a wooden fence here. Let's jump it and hope we uh, 
are safe on this side. Looks like it. The airdrop is not this house, but the next one, right? No, we need to go back down a little bit. We have a little bit of a horde here. Let's see if I can lure them away. Take them all out. Gonna make me waste like one swing on one health, come on, bro. Got him. Nice. Area secure. All right, there was a survivor house here too, wasn't there? We'll take a peek at this. I believe it's broken into, so... Speaking of which, we need to get hinges and doorknobs, so... I'll be taking those. Thank you. Oh, got some more boys here. Hold on. Alright, any more of you in the back? Doesn't look like it. We got a key, though. Okay. These survivor houses, they like to have stuff. Well, before we actually grab loot, let's confirm that this area is secure. Do not want to get snuck up behind. And in here, we have more doorknobs and hinges, though. I'm just going to grab a couple. Because I think we need, for the large gates that we're going to need, we need, uh, for one of them, we need two of the doorknobs and then four hinges, so. Really? They have no weapons stored here? Kind of not cool. Not that button. Nothing thing over here either. Yeah, no, damn. Oh, hold on. We can uh, take that apart. Yeah, dismantle it. There we go. Did it? it dismantled. Did. All right. Let's move this stuff over into the backpack to lighten that load as much as possible. And then I guess we're gonna eat the rest of these chips. Fourth, I guess, for now. All right, let's get to the edge of this fence. And I think right there, our target. How's our bandage looking? Feel good? I like how you can kind of see like a paper trail of the quarantine flyers that I had uh, like left behind. Oh, this was also a survivor house. Nice, right, so we'll take a look at that once we check the MRE situation here. All right, we left a lot of stuff in this, didn't we? question is, how much can I pick up? A little bit. Dang. Should have brought the truck, to be honest. Go ahead and remove this broken glass and check this house out. If I could find a car nearby, I could jumpstart it. And then take that uh, to the truck with supplies in it. Oh. Well, that zombie's gonna... Those zombies are gonna be there for a while. We have more pistols and stuff. And here we have... Room. A broken baseball bat. Right, I broke in here once, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe I already looted it. Yeah, 
I think most of the stuff we I don't really care about what else is in here. My door's barricaded. Go ahead and climb through this. Alright, where's the nearest car? Where's my mouse? <laughs> Probably gonna be up further that way. You know what? I don't like being this heavy. So uh Offload some more stuff into here. There we go. Now we're not overweight. How many fourth bags of this chip thing am I going to eat? That was like the fourth one, but it was like, it, it said I could eat a half of it again? Oh. I think if I get a car running, those zombies are going to come for me, so that's not going to be good. And here's my exercise fatigue. Let's head up this road here. I think in the northern section of this town there were some more vehicles. Grab one of them. Try to come from it in this direction. Alright. I wonder if credit cards can be used for anything. Seriously, no one has a car around here? Not one. Just check mailboxes for now, I guess. They might have a uh, general car magazine in here or something. Not these, though. Bro, really? Where the heck are all the cars? This rate, I might as well just go back and get the truck. I'm getting exhausted though, because I'm running. Some leather gloves. I'll take the leather gloves. I don't have many of those to spare. Why not take the backpack too while we're at it? Right, where'd that glass break at? Right there it looks like. What do we got in here? Generator. Any cars here? Really, no cars. None at all. There's one. Check the mailboxes. Let's take a truck. Make sure it starts first. Got it. All right, turn it off. I'm going to dump the uh, stuff we picked up inside of it. north would uh, kind of like bypass that large horde that's down there and we'll hit that tree because it uh it looked at me funny yep that's why don't worry 
power is going to connect back to the road here. Which way was it? It is the next road, because I think this road is the horde right there, yep. deal with those zombies real quick. So if I'm standing this close, I should be able to just take stuff out of the... I don't know which switch, though. Hold on. Let's kill these zombies. Here we go. All right. Of course, there were more zombies. Always more zombies. That was like three close calls right in a row, man. Not all right. All right. I think the one that has the MREs in it is the... Uh... Yeah, because I remember putting the Desert Eagle back in here, so it's all these. We'll just transport them directly inside. Done. All right. Into the truck. Check the map real quick. We can go ahead and remove the airdrop marking now, since we've already looted that. So in order to get back to the police station, there was the gate, there was the fence over here. But if we just drive around this way, will we perhaps be able to... Uh, make it without having to go past that horde. Be able to go to old try. If worst comes to worst, we can um, you know, use the road. I think if we just turn right here and maybe sneak past here and back onto this road. <laughs> Go ahead and pull this off the uh, the main road here. It's out of the way if we ever come back, you know, another way and stuff. Okay. Everything in the trunk except for that, that, and that. I want into my backpack. It's loaded into the car. Into the rear seat. I'm going to eat one of those MREs. Actually, I might as well hold on to these MREs because they don't weigh too much. And they stack, which is nice. And there's more MREs in there, actually, so matter too much. Let's eat one now. Wait, that's a lot of calories. Hold on, wait, stop, cancel that. Well, shit. Unfortunately, it does make wrappers. But, you know. That would go sometimes. All right, into the backpack. Seat. Have all of this. I'll just 
just fit as much as you can in there. Next, the back seat. More MREs in there. Excellent. And then the last bit of loot we have here. I don't really need another large backpack, but if I uh, have it there, like the uh, like the dozens, and I mean dozens, of like firefighter gear we have back at base, if we do end up dying and not being able to reach our body to recover it, we can use that um, backpack uh, in the meantime. So, kind of a plan there. All right, let's uh, switch into the next seat. What is this building, though? All right, some sort of like town hall. That's right. Like the rural farming area. I was gonna take a look at that. Hold on a second. Is this the town that? We have the shopping cart in and stuff. I think it is. Hold on, are these open? They are. I think I've looted everything here. Let me just check. Oh, there's some seeds back there, but whatever. Did I get all the guns? Guns and ammo, I mean. If all that's gone. The Desert Eagle magazine, might as well take that. And there were some more seeds I had seen back here. Which one were they in? Back here, yeah. Cabbage and carrots? Jerp. Okay. Go ahead and throw that stuff back here. What happened on my bandages, by the way? I had like five, and I think I only used like two. Maybe I put them all away in here by accident. Would make sense. All right, what else do we have? We have whatever this is. Uh, that's just a restaurant or something, it looks like. Um, gas station's here, but we don't have anything to power it with. Let's go this way, head north. We'll just check the parking lots of this stuff and see what uh, else is around. I don't remember how thorough of a job we did, but we were uh, scouting around here. I know we found the Humvee. Or did I pass the gas station already? I did. Right here, it's just a small little gas station. Have anything in here? That's fine. All right, so let's head to the north uh, west here. We'll take a look. Ski doodles. Hmm. Nice lake there. No real direction either way. I guess if we go north, we could go to that. And then, uh, let's keep going west. Let's see what else is out here. Maybe we'll find something interesting that's not a major map or something. Ooh! Is that a freaking challenger? Nice. First time I see one of those. I'd take it, but we're already in a semi right now. We have to go back, and we have to abandon this baby. We might take that, though. cars in the road. You would at least have the decency to, like, remove them from the road, right? Like, just push them out of the way. I don't care if you, like, broke a, a rib or neck. Just push it out of the way. Come on.
Where on earth are we heading? Let's check down this road quick. Regardless of what we uh, end up finding, or how far we make it, when we reach half a tank of gas, we're going to have to turn around. Nothing else we can do. We won't be able to get gas anywhere since all the pumps are uh, off, because there's no power to anything. Oh look, a bunch of hay bales. whole lot of nothing out here. I wish the map showed, like, cars on the road. I think this is also going to be farmland. Oh, I do see some buildings down here. Let's go near them, see if they have anything of interest. Some of the rural places have been really nice to us, finding uh, some interesting things. Looks like not this time, though. Yeah, nothing else. All right. Move up. You know, if the uh, roads are flat, not the, road, the land is flat and there's no trees, it might be best to just drive across the open land like this. barn there, hold on. There's a big barn here. <gasps> By the heavens. Okay. Powering down. Looking at this thing a little bit you know, worse for wear and stuff. Let's take a look at the other truck, see how it looks. Oh man, everything on it's like basically 100%. However, this one does not have a, a rear cab on it. I need basic mechanics for a bull bar. Damn it. Well, do they have keys in here? Nope, they have a bandage, which I will gratefully take. What about, uh, wait, do they not have storage here either? No, no storage, huh? Okay. Uh, this thing has storage here, though. If I vehicle mechanic this thing. Oh, yeah, 100%. 91 trunk. Let's look at the back of this. Oh! Oh, my gods. Under percent trunk. I think the white one is one we would grab. Well. Well, 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 well. This is exactly what we wanted to find, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and search around here. We're going to have to get some water. Possibly sleep as well. I'll come back for that tire in a moment. Let's keep searching the rest of the stuff, though, first. Fertilizer, not going to worry about any of that. Cabbage seeds. Honestly, I don't think we need any more seeds, if we're being honest. Not the wrench. Thank you. All right. You know what? I can probably store all my ammunition and stuff in here real quick. Because I don't really need uh, ammunition for what we're doing right now. Because there don't seem to be any zombies here in mass anyway. So. 
should be fine. For those as well. Okay. Garage door's there. Is there a, uh, a house nearby that I could sleep in? Down there, but it's a little ways away. Let's search these if we can. Looks like a dumpster kind of thing. Okay. What do we have in here? Nothing? Nothing at all? Maybe it was all like produce and then it just all rotted away. Maybe that's what happened. There's nothing here. Oh, yep. It was all produce. I'm assuming the other one's gonna be the same. This one has zombies in it, though. Excuse me? All right, fine. I don't know how I knocked him down, but, uh, all right. Open this door so I have a way out. Once again, I think this is all just going to be empty because everything's rotted away. Unfortunate. But, at the same time, not necessarily unfortunate. Ooh, I think there's a house over there. Well, we've gotten everything we can here. Let's, uh... Deal this up. Go back up and take the trailer. Oh, beautiful. We have a way to loot massive amounts of loot now. There we go. Catch the trailer. Yep, of course. I figured. I figured it was, because I didn't see him before. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to grab that tire we saw over here. It's always good to get extra stuff while you can. And it's a perfectly good tire as well. Alright, so now we basically have limitless storage for looting, which is perfect. All right. It's a good thing stuff can't just like fall out of the back. All right, stop here because I think we're gonna kind of salvage that thing for parts as best we can. But before we do that, let's go to this. Uh, I'm guessing that's a, like a house or something. And we can use it to sleep, if it is indeed a house. Well, it's a house, kind of. It's a pig house. Or a farm animal of some sort house, anyway. There's a house up here, though. Let's go. What's in here? Gas can and a torch, huh? Well, I'll go ahead and just disassemble that. Might as well take the gas can. Never have too many of them. Oh, 
Alrighty. Hello. New neighbor. Take a sleep. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, let's have a fourth of an MRE because they are really, really filling. One fourth of 18 would be, uh... yeah, about that much. Also have a smoke while we're in here. I wish I could dismantle the uh, alarm clock. All right. Clear the rest of the house here. Make your jeans, earbuds, all dismantle. A hammer. Hmm. There's a lamp. Do I want this lamp? I don't know. It's going to take up more generator stuff. I don't think I do. Let's just dismantle it. Okay. What do we have in here? Duct tape. I'll take the electrical wire too, because why not? And up here we had a desk and this, which we already have all that. Bathroom with bandages. Soap and a sewing kit. I'll take those. Is that all the doors here? Yep. All right, let's search downstairs then. Really just a single toilet in there, huh? That's pretty odd. I think we need four electrical for something. I just forget what it is exactly. What do we got here? Canned food. Perfect. Cereal and marinara. grab actually all of this. I don't really have very many cooking utensils. Wait, don't fill all. There's my empty uh, water bottles. Okay. Alright, well that's that. Is there another house down here? Oh, there is. Take a peek at that. Might as well. This is like a proper, like, little farmhouse where Grandma and Grandpa done settled down a little house here to live on their farm. Cooking pot, need one of those two. Perfect. Keep. Cool. It's a pretty barren house. Guess no one moved in yet, huh? Oh, it's for sale, that's why. How much is it? Like a hundred grand? Is this like a little. I guess it's just like a farming community. Dang, nothing in the mailbox again? Oh, come on, let me in. Hello, hello, anyone home? This is a home invasion. Good. outside. Okay. <sighs> 
Where? Hmm? Yeah, you... That's what I thought. How dare. Can of beans. Okay. I got the little shed down here. Of course, I uh, put the crowbar away. Oh, it's a metal door. Mm, so I need a propane tank stuff, huh? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let's head back up. Trees? Damn trees. Smoke break. Let's store everything we have in the trunk here. Perfect. And then... Oop. I forgot when you uh, hold shift and scroll wheel, it uh, changes your inventory that you're looking at. There was a wrench somewhere around here. Was it in the trunk here? No. Was it this? It was. You can also check if this one had anything in here. Nope. What about the other side? Does it have one? Doesn't look like it. All right, real quick. Hop in. What did this have? Might as well read, not place it, darn it. Read it. Yep, I think I already knew that one, but whatever. Go ahead and read this magazine. Hopefully get our depression down a little bit. Clicked the wrong thing. All right. So, look here at this guy. It's got some decent brakes and stuff, but I cannot do anything with those because I cannot remove the tires. Mm. This would be a really nice place to do this, too. Let's see. Can I get the windshield out? I can. Put that in my bag real quick. Can I install the hood? I can. Might be able to use that for the uh, the Humvee back home too. We'll see. Ooh, the gas tank. Oh man, I need basic mechanics. All right. Um. see what I can do here. So the hood is in bad condition. The windshield is just gone, so let's go ahead and just install this one. There we go. Let's remove the hood. And then we'll go ahead and install the 100% hood here. Installed. Excellent. We are missing headlights. 
You know what? Let me just, uh... Hmm, never mind. How's the engine doing? 75%, not great, not bad. Let's see. The radio was garbage. Take the lights out. Okay. Um, mechanics. Rear windshield. How about that? Got it. Do I have a rear windshield here? I do not. Windshield armor, though. Anyway, let's go ahead and install these lights. Okay. And then the radio that we've been holding on to here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Basically anything that I can take apart I'm going to do. So the driver's seat. The backpack. Front right seat. Can I put that in the backpack too? I can. Gas tank. Can't uninstall that. Battery uninstall. enough stuff now. Let's go ahead and over here. Battery, battery, battery. Battery was at not a good percentage. Let's go ahead and replace that then. Install the battery again. Um, the seats. Where are the seats? The driver's side seat was not very good. Hmm. Install the 100% seat, please. I'm sorry, are you not doing it for some reason? Install it. What are you doing? Hold on. Let me, uh, that in there, toss those in there. Other seat is a 67%, which is better, but is it really worth the effort? I don't think so. The tires are what I really want to replace, but sadly, I don't have a jack for it. All right, what else can we salvage from this? Mm. Can't do the gas tank, do the engine, not as well. Muffler, yep. Okay, heater, nope. Tires, can't do. Brakes, can't do. Suspension, can't do. Uh, spare tire, can't do. Window, apparently we can. One moment while I put this stuff into my backpack to make myself lighter. Alright, window, uninstall. And then we have the 
doors, which we'll probably also end up replacing. Alright, let's see here. I guess the left window's pretty okay. We'll replace the right window, though. What else should I pick up? Engine parts and a muffler. How's the muffler? 100%. Don't need to replace it. Um... Could repair the engine a bit. Wouldn't be a whole lot, though. Repair the engine. Okay, that went up to 80% now. From, what was it, 65? Okay, store that. Store those. Perfect. I think we have the doors left, which let's see if we can even remove them. I probably should have checked it before. But, yep, we can. And we can move. Okay. Go ahead and throw those back here. And that's the last thing I can tinker with on these, so... Do the condition of the doors. Pretty piss poor, if I do say so myself. Especially the right door. The right door just went through hell, huh? There we go. I do want to get some armor on these guys at some point. Put the doors in here. I don't have anything else to use right now, so... Good. Can I salvage anything from this guy? Tail lights. Nope, I just need basic mechanics. Alright, well, whatever. Go ahead and get up to a house. We'll sleep again, take care of our needs here, and then we will uh, head on back home. Do we want to go home? I don't know. We'll figure it out, I think. Come out of your mailbox. Oh, hold on a moment. The battery was yellow, yeah? That's because the charge is low. But once we start driving, it'll pick back up. So that's fine. Where's the kitchen? I think I need to refill my water bottles. Wash ourselves because we are not doing well. Hold on. I don't want to sleep in this bedroom. Can we, can we move properly, please, sir? Thank you. This one has a better bed. Ah. Uh, isn't my sleeping supposed to take care of my depression? Cool. Love it when uh, another thing spooks my guy and makes me anxious. If I just keep smoking, does it increase my happiness or anything? It does. Let's do that then. There we go. All right, let's eat another uh, fourth of the MRE. Here we go. Perfect. All right, we can head home. Finally. Or will we? Let's get to the truck and we'll uh, kind of make a map. A map, a, uh, a note of where we're going. Speaking of which, I'm going to close this dang trailer. 
Seeing it just annoys me. Seeing it open anyway. Alright, folks. Let's take a peek. So we went all the way down here. We could probably just take this road and get back to this road here. Um, so that'd be fine. Uh, where would this go? Probably down to here, maybe? I don't know. Now that we have a semi-truck, we can basically just carry anything we can loot. So we don't have to go back home right away. It might be a better idea to go up north here. Loot anything we can from this area. Because I remember there being, I think, one of these is a, I think this is the police station. From our burglar guy. I remember that being a police station. So if we can get up there... There's also some other stuff in here we could probably grab. I think there's like a tool store maybe or something, but uh, we could check all that out. So I think for now what we'll do, is we'll go back up the way we came and instead of turning here at the lake, we'll go up there and see what we can find up north. Maybe there'll be some other stuff around along the way. Maybe we'll find some other vehicles that we can loot. If we find a Humvee, we can loot it for parts as well. Um, I should also keep an eye out for a jack and a lug wrench because if we can find those, then we can um, use it to take off tires and suspensions and stuff. There was a lug wrench somewhere. I think it was in the truck that we left down here. I might just follow this road out, go up here, grab the lug wrench out of there. So we're just one thing down. That'll be our plan. We'll kind of go down this way, back up, up like that. Well, until next time. Bye for now.